Hello, my name is Jovan Lazarevich. I'm the principal of Fenton High School. Due to the unusual circumstances for the 2020-2021 school year, we will not be having a traditional open house where you'll have the opportunity to walk through every one of your child's classes and meet their teachers. What we are doing is we are allowing you to email each of the teachers individually and they will provide you with the essentials of the learning that your child will have in their class, as well as perhaps a quick bio uh, of them at Fenton High School. One of the big things that we want to stress this year is communication, and it starts with that. Every Monday, you should also receive an outline from your teachers explaining what your child will be doing for the week and what the uh, essential outcomes should be for that week. Um, another big piece that we're, we'd like to uh, engage you is the family engagement. We've set aside time in the schedule to make sure that the teachers have opportunities to call, email, or have a Calendly or Google Meet with you to make sure that you are on, on target with whatever your child needs within the class. One of our models for this year is patience, flexibility, and grace. Our big piece for a lot of our students is that we just have to have patience, whether it's through our Wi-Fi connectivity, the technology that's going on, or just the understanding of what's being taught within the class. Flexibility. A lot of times our students can't connect in terms of their Wi-Fi. Sometimes it's the teacher that will struggle with, with the flex, with connection with the Wi-Fi. We always want to be flexible. And we always want to be able to move in any direction that's possible. So make sure that we're flexible. And the final is grace. Have grace with each other. Have grace with yourself. This is a new frontier for many of us. And so we want to make sure that our, our parents and our students are supported in the best way possible as well as our teachers. So have grace. What you're gonna see next is a welcome back video from our teachers um, as we come back into the 2020-2021 school year. Following the video, you'll see Ms. Papanicola, our Director of um, Teaching and Learning, and she'll go over some things in terms of our remote schedule and uh, other questions that might be pop up for our curriculum. And then finally, our Superintendent, Mr. Ontangle, um, will finish off this video um, with some other words for you to make sure that you understand where the district stands as well. Thank you for your time and thank you for your understanding. We value your partnership and we're always looking for feedback. Thank you. families, my name is Scott Murphy and welcome to the 2020-21 school year. We hope that all of you are happy and healthy. We know that the school year is starting off a little different this year, but what is not different is our commitment to our students and their overall success inside the classroom and outside. We look forward to working with you along the journey and if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to your teachers. And remember, Go Bison! si Mike Berago o nagtudlo ko o computer science. Maayong pagabot sa Pinton High School. Soy el maestro de ciencia uh, de ESL, del programa de ESL en Fenton High School. Um, estoy aquí para apoyarle a su estudiante. Yo quiero ver que cada estudiante que tengo tenga éxito en mi clase. Uh, además de eso, estoy aquí para conectar a su familia con cualquier recurso que tengamos en uh, Fenton High School. Así que por favor, siempre sentir cómodo o cómoda con comunicarse conmigo 
y me emocionó mucho por uh, tener su estudiante en mi clase y por uh, hablar con ustedes en los siguientes meses. My name is Nancy Connor. I'm one of the counselors here at Fenton. Welcome back. Je m'appelle Madame Benti. Je suis professeure de français et d'anglais langue secondaire. Bienvenue au lycée Fenton! parents welcome to Fenton High School this is coach Farrell uh, giving you a little video from my house um, I am a PE teacher the lead driver ed teacher and a girls badminton coach so again welcome to Fenton High School Welcome Fenton High School parents. My name is Sarity Williams. I teach choir and piano here at Fenton High School. I know this year looks really different to start the year off, but I can't wait to make music with your students. Welcome Bison families to the 2020-2021 school year. I am Ms. Chavez and I am beyond thrilled to have joined the Fenton family. The beginning of the school year is marked with excitement and celebration and rightfully so. But we also know and acknowledge that with our current climate and culture in the world right now, it's also a time filled with concern for many. But we are absolutely committed to partnering with you and all members of our school communities to ensure that this unforgettable year is going to be the best one yet. We got this. Go Bison. Good evening. This is Michelle Papa Nicolau, Director of Curriculum and Instruction here at Fenton High School. Thank you for joining us for our Welcome Back program. We've been so grateful for your support and, and your partnership during this unprecedented time. We feel confident that together we will make this work. Our teachers and our staff have spent endless hours preparing for a shift to remote learning, and they continue to learn best practices and distance learning on a daily basis. We will continue learning and growing to ensure your child has a quality learning experience this fall. We will also continue to ask for feedback from you, our parents, our students, and staff, so we can shift and adjust as necessary. I will now take you through a set of FAQs related to our Remote Learning 2.0 Fall Learning Plan. How will I know what is expected of my child in each course? 
At the beginning of each week, parents receive a weekly outline from each of their child's teachers. This outline includes a checklist of assignments for the week, where to find assignments, where to turn them in, and teacher contact info. In addition, we encourage parents to sign up for updates from their child's Google Classroom and communicate regularly with their child's teacher. How can I best support my child in, remote, in a remote learning model? First of all, encouraging your child and helping them maintain a positive and productive mindset is extremely helpful. We also understand this may be difficult at times, but understanding where they can get help and where they can access supports is another very important way you can help. Their school counselor is always at the ready as a first point of contact when you're in doubt about where to get help. You can find your child's counselor's name in PowerSchool. If you're having trouble with technology, you can reach out directly to our tech support team at chromezone at fenton100.org. If your child is struggling with their classwork, teachers have open office hours for them during the week from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'm sorry, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you want to have a direct conversation with your child's teacher, they have hours available for you from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. throughout the week. If these times are inconvenient for you, you may definitely reach out to a teacher and set up an alternative time to chat. Teachers are always available by email. In addition, Fenton will host the Parent Academy series where videos will be provided on a regular basis for guidance on how to support the home learning environment, how to navigate certain technology programs, and other topics. You may expect these to arrive by email or text message, and these videos will also be made available on the Fenton website. What is the system of support and enrichment block on Monday afternoons? Beginning September 8th, 8th, you will see a new mark in PowerSchool. Next to each grade in the column labeled N1, your child will receive a mark of OT, NAS, or NEL. OT means they are on track with their learning. NAS means they need academic support. And NEL means that the teacher has no evidence of their learning meaning they haven't turned much in. For students receiving an indicator of an NAS or an NEL, families will receive further communication about the support to be provided on Monday afternoons between the hours of one and three or during the teacher office hours to help get them back on track with their learning. These supports will begin on September 14th. Enrichment opportunities will also be provided to students on Monday afternoons. These opportunities are aimed to begin by the end of September. More information will be provided to parents in the next few weeks. For now, we encourage our students to use Monday afternoons to stay on track with their learning, to organize their workload for the week, and begin working on assignments provided to them by their teachers. What is my child's daily schedule? All students are expected to be available for live online sessions from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They are also required to attend their live bison time on Mondays from 11 to 12. Each class will host two potential live sessions a week for which students should ensure they are available. Both sessions, they need to be available. One session is mandatory for all students. The other session may be optional depending on the expectations of the teacher. When looking at a schedule, you will see that period four runs two days in a row on Tuesday and Wednesday. Under the period, you will either see live whole class connection or live small group whole class support. The first day is to ensure that every student has the opportunity to interact with their teacher and their classmates. The second day is to be utilized by the teacher or the students to get to provide or get small group support or at times support for the entire group if certain areas of their learning need to be further addressed. There may be times on the support day where students are excused from their live session and are able to complete their work independently but they are still to be available if the teacher needs to call on them. What will my student be expected to do on Mondays and outside of the hours of 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.? Every course will have expectations for student learning outside of the live connection and live support days. These expectations will be provided to you and your student at the beginning of the week in those weekly outlines by Monday at 10 o'clock a.m. Students are expected to review these weekly outlines plan out and organize their responsibilities and begin completing the learning tasks assigned by their teachers. We ask for your support and partnership in helping them plan, organize, and monitor their weekly responsibilities. Depending on the class throughout the week, outside of live sessions, students may be asked to participate in projects, complete daily practice activities, 
engage in online discussions, view videos from their teachers, read text and respond through digital tools, reflect on their progress, self-assess their work, review written or video feedback from the teachers, the list goes on and on. What will happen during bison time on Mondays at 11 o'clock a.m.? It is very important that students attend bison time every Monday. During this time, many important school-wide communications will take place. Students will also spend a great deal of time exploring college and career options through the guidance of their counselors and the College and Career Resource Center. In addition, students will learn important ruler strategies, an important set of social emotional learning skills to employ on a daily basis. Finally, students will participate in both academic testing and surveys that will help inform our teaching and learning plans moving forward. What are the technology, technology tools the students are using to support their learning? Our teachers are employing a number of digital tools to provide quality instruction and feedback to students about their learning. You may hear, hear your child talking about Padlet, Edpuzzle, WeVideo, Google Classroom, Flipgrid, the list goes on and on. These tools allow teachers to continue the teaching and learning when they are not in that live setting. Some of these allow teachers to provide videos about topics. Some of them allow students to demonstrate their learning through video and provide feedback through video. Some of them allow students to watch screencasts and answer guided questions without being in a live session. Some of them allow students to collaborate, discuss, and participate in projects in an asynchronous manner without necessarily being in direct contact with those classmates or teachers. We will provide more information to parents throughout the semester about these technology tools through our Parent Academy. How can I stay up to date with Fenton's remote learning plan? And how can I provide feedback about how it is working for my child and our family? Fenton will provide information through a variety of communication methods throughout the school year, including Wednesday Words, Fenton 100 and 100 Seconds, website updates, social media updates, and other forms. In addition, we will continue to survey parents and conduct focus groups throughout the year to better understand the experience in the home learning environment. Finally, communication directly with your child's teacher is highly encouraged. If something is working well, or if something isn't working well, it's best to let the teacher know. Sometimes they won't know unless you or your child actually tell them. They're eager to understand their students' needs and you are an essential part of that equation. Please know that they are trying their best and your input and patience helps. You can reach teachers through multiple forms of communication. They have Calendly and Remind set up, so you can talk to them through text or set up uh, video chats. Some teachers may request you call them or contact them through email. Their procedures for reaching them are available on the course syllabus and the weekly outlines that they provide on uh, each week. Finally, in conclusion, please feel free to reach out to your teachers or to any of the administrators for help along the way. We are in this together. We truly appreciate your support and partnership during this time. We hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great evening. Thank you so much for your time and have a great, uh, sorry, and have a great evening. Bye. Hello, I'm Superintendent James Ontanko and welcome, bienvenido to the 2020-2021 school year. This isn't a traditional school year, but those are some incredible teachers you just saw. They've been working extremely hard to prepare rigorous and meaningful classes for your children and I have every confidence in them. Here at District 100, we are committed to three priorities during the pandemic. Number one, safety and wellness. Number two, learning. And number three, communication. I am encouraging you to stay positive, ask for help when you are unsure or confused, and keep in touch with our teachers. If you have any technical problems, please do not hesitate to email us at fentonhelp at district100.org. Also, we are serving daily breakfast and lunch. Please take advantage of these services. Again, bienvenido, welcome, go Bison.